Welcome to Cal CPA Brain Food Bites. I'm Greg Kling, Associate Professor at the University of Southern California's Marshall School of Business and Leventhal School of Accounting. And I'm a presenter for the Cal CPA's Titans of Tax Update presentations with Annette Nellen. This Cal CPA Brain Food Bite is part two of tax items to consider before year end. The first part of which was recorded by Annette Nellen. Please make sure to check out Annette's update if you have not already done so. Here, we are going to discuss one important issue to consider for 2024, which is the topic of required minimum distributions. More specifically, there is a 10-year payout rule for designated beneficiaries to take distributions from a deceased owner's retirement plan. The 10-year rule requires that the plan balance be completely distributed by the end of the 10th year after the death of the retirement plan owner. Unlike the prior five-year rule, initial IRS proposed regulations provided that under the 10-year rule, payments would need to be made annually starting the first year after the retirement plan owner's death. Failure to take a required minimum distribution is normally subject to an excise tax up to 25%. There was confusion because of the proposed regulations, which fortunately was addressed in various IRS notices and the final regulations. So first the notices. Okay, so let's start with notice 2024-35, which was issued on April 16th, 2024. It was an update of two earlier notices, notice 2022-53 and notice 2023-54, which essentially waived the excise tax for failure to take the required minimum distributions under these new rules. Again, just as a quick refresher, the 10-year rule provides that after an IRA owner or employee dies, the remaining account balance in their account must be distributed within 10 years of death. The proposed regulations, which I mentioned briefly earlier, were issued on April 24th, 2022. And the proposed regulations provided that the beneficiary must take an annual required minimum distribution starting in the first year after the IRA owner's or employee's death. Some commenters thought that the 10-year rule would act the same as the five-year rule, which again is the payments have to be made, all of the payments, the account balance has to be distributed by the end of the fifth year. They thought the rule would be the same, that the entire account balance would have to be distributed by the end of the 10th year. So that's why IRS came out with the notices saying they would look into it. There would be no excise tax if people didn't take the required minimum distributions. And ultimately, in what many would say was a taxpayer friendly result, the final regulations provide that yes, the 10 year rule is similar to the five year rule in that as long as the entire account balance is paid out by the end of the 10th year, the rules will have been satisfied. We should note that these rules do not apply to eligible designated beneficiaries who are using the life expectancy rule. For more information, please note the links included in the slides. Thank you for listening to this Brain Food Bite. We look forward to seeing you later this year for our annual Titans of Tax update.